Hancock County is experiencing a boom in growth right now. While there's positive economic impacts, not everyone is happy about those changes. WRTV zone Kelsey Anderson joins us now with why some residents and business owners are concerned. Morgan Acres is a place where memories are made, whether it's a wedding, a church gathering, or a family reunion. But now, with industrial buildings proposed to the south, east, and northeast, they're concerned their country feel is in jeopardy. Morgan Acres is historically uh, a homestead that was built in 1840. Nestled on the Hancock Marion County line, the Williams family bought the homestead in 2008. We began just by sharing our property with our community, with neighbors, friends, church groups, things like that, and pretty much found out very quickly that people love this place, that Morgan Acres is a very special place and the environment is so serene. Um, people come here and they say, I can't believe this is still Marion County. It's so peaceful and quiet out here. Shaney Williams tells me after a few years of hosting small events, people started booking the venue for weddings, reunions, and showers, taking advantage of their quiet farm. But that could all change soon if more proposed industrial type buildings are approved. We're talking about buildings who um, that could be 40 to 50 feet tall. So there's no way to visually block that um, from my property. There's not enough space to be able to block the view of those. You're talking about 24-7 semi-truck traffic. We're talking about, oh, 100 plus 200 loading docks where semis will be coming in and backing up and the beep, 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 you know, constant sound. You're talking about light pollution. You're talking about massive amount of traffic um, up and down 30th Street and, you know, and risk to my guests here at Morgan Acres due to that traffic that, that I don't think Morgan Acres um, should have to assume that risk. Williams tells me they've known there was a chance for these buildings on the Hancock County side of their property. But now the county is petitioning to rezone the land behind them from residential to industrial. So we would be talking about the two main borders of Morgan Acres. Um, really taken a big hit. I reached out to the Marion County Counselor for District 14, Lakeisha Jackson. She declined an on-camera interview at this time, saying, quote, I have not had the opportunity to meet with constituents and collect enough information related to the rezoning request. I also reached out to several Hancock County Counselors and the Executive Director of the Economic Development Council. I have not heard back from any of them. Unfortunately, all of that development completely changes um, the atmosphere and all of us as property owners, we are entitled to the peaceful enjoyment of our property. We have property rights too, and I think that's what Hancock County is forgetting. Williams says she hopes Marion County declines the petition to rezone the land behind her property. I want to see Hancock County come to the table and have a discussion with Marion County and say, hey, we realize we're putting all of this massive development right at the county line and we are impacting your infrastructure and your roads and Marion County residents. I want to see Hancock County slow down the freight train. There is no reason for them to be issuing permits at the rate that they're issuing them. They are hosting a town hall here tonight at Morgan Acres off 30th Street at 7 p.m. There will be county and state officials here to listen to ideas and concerns about these proposed changes. Working for you, Kelsey Anderson, WRTV. And Kelsey, I know reached out to the developer proposing this new industrial park. So far, we have not received a response. William started a petition on change.org. It has more than 1,600 signatures today.